It's currently 8 in the morning, and we just received a Frankie de Jong SBC who seems to really not be that expensive. He's coming in at about 310,000 coins, and honestly, I expected him to be more than that. I do think the price is going to go up a little bit, though. Fodder always rises during Black Friday. So if that says 400k during tomorrow or Sunday, I wouldn't be that surprised. But he did get a weak foot boost. I think he'll need a three star on his gold card. Maybe I'm wrong, but four star, four star, high medium work rates. I do wish he had higher defensive work rates because I feel like in real life, he plays much more of a defensive role. I mean, he's literally played center back for Barca before. One thing I do want to say, look at these upgrades. He's based on Barca. Barca are obviously one of the best teams in La Liga, whether I want to say that or not, because you know, Madrid, I'm a Liverpool fan, but all my friends are Madrid fans. So I got a little bit of a soft spot for them. Four games, I think they get, or three games. They have to win three games out of the next four to get all the upgrades. Two inform upgrades and two play styles. So this card, not going to say guaranteed, but very likely could be a 90 rated card. And that's kind of insane. Don't you think? Don't you think he already looks pretty dang good for 300K? I know that the market's very cheap this year. You get someone like Valverde for a similar price, probably. But... I mean, it's a cool card, first of all. Number one, look at the card design. You're paying for the dynamic lightning bolts. Hello, dynamic pictures. But for real though, seriously, seriously good card. His play styles are, are nice as well. Travella is a little bit of kind of a stinker, in my opinion, for a CDM. It makes good passes, but with 70 shooting, are you really going to be shooting that much with the young? I will say Travella on Griezmann's promo card and on um, Luca, it is insane outside the boxes. But I mean, other than that, he's got very basic play styles, in my opinion. Flair, whatever. Ball control, uh, press proven is very good. The play style plus is on Yaya Torre. I know that's very good. He's got finesse shot as well. I don't know why he has so many uh, attacking traits, Travella and finesse. Incisive pass is extremely good. I don't know if I've ever used a player that has the base incisive pass, but who knows? 310k i think is a great price if you need coins though to complete this sbc make sure you head over to fun coin shop there's a link down below use code sus when you sign up and at checkout for five percent off each ten percent total best place to do it safest place and it supports the channel now this is the team we're gonna be rocking around de young i'm gonna in the first game i'm gonna try to just move the midfield around with the young only i have a very ad aggressive midfield okay these guys are both going forward i play hardly any defense at all I'll try to play the ball through De Jong every single time. And then in game two, I'll play normal. We'll just try to get a rage quit. As we load into game one, just remember, this is a review for the average player, okay? This is not targeted at people that are an elite, uh, you know, finish 18 and two, 19 and one. I get between 11 and 14 wins normally. So if you're much better than that, this isn't targeted at you. What is this guy's defense? He's gotta be subbing that card off, right? There's, there's literally no way. I guess if anything, this, why do I, every time I try to review a card, every time I try to review a card, why do we end up with these teams? Did you see that 70, 77 center back? I've also never played FIFA this early in the morning ever, unless I was doing a 24 hour stream. And at that point, if I had been on at this time, I'd already been playing for 20 hours for the most or for most likely chance. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go or how this is going to really feel. Gameplay actually feels halfway decent compared to when I do it after content time. And I imagine there's probably quite a few people on the game already. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. His dribbling actually feels much better than I thought it was going to. I know he has very solid dribbling stats, but every player to me nowadays feels like they have really mid dribbling his gameplay is always really slow for me let's try let's try a travella pass maybe it didn't even ping it it didn't even ping the pass why did it not ping the pass his passing is of course very good it's very good irl too that's why i'm surprised he only has medium uh, work rates because i feel like in real life he does a lot of defensive work i mean of course he does all of it but like you that was a good pass is it an assist though yeah it's an assist that's cold that is, that is cold from DeYoung. What a freaking pass. I feel like in real life, he does a lot of defensive work. That's all I'm saying. So at the very least, you think you'd have high, high work rates, right? Maybe give him the high attacking work rates. That's fine. Try to take a free kick with DeYoung. What are his free kicks? Oh my God, they're terrible, aren't they? 65 free kicks. If I score this with DeYoung, you literally have to drop a like. Or bad luck for 10 years. That's a, that's a goal, by the way. Okay, you still have to drop a like or bad luck for five years. Thoughts? I think that's only fair i mean come on virgil de Jong's teammate i feel like that counts as part of the review his national his national teammate right there my literal goat virgil van juicy meat rod cold where is de Jong at can we get him making a run and he does really push up the pitch though 
He's on he's on stay back while attacking, by the way. I don't know if I've made that clear. He's on stay back while attacking. He's still pushing this far up the pitch every time. So you can definitely see that high attacking work rate in there. Medium defensive work rate. He doesn't really want to get back as much as you think. More like a fullback, right? More like a fullback that's on balance. Just pushing away at the pitch. I think this guy might have finally quit, huh? Oh, he's still... Wait, what? Oh, I think he did quit, yeah. Not that it really matters, but the Yong had an assist. That guy was stinky. Okay, we gotta, we gotta field the Yong out, so that's good. That's good. Now, this is game two. Our goal is a rage quit. The first game, I played through De Jong every time. I tried getting him involved in everything. No matter how bad this guy's team is. Okay. Okay, Messi, Holland up top. Lone Sun is kind of interesting. I won't lie. Don't think I would ever see a Lone Sun this late in the game. But hey, fair play. He's got broken finesses. The goal of this game is a rage quit. Let's see what happens. I didn't even see Lampard. He had Lom as well. Pretty decent team. Nothing crazy, but... A lot better than the last guy, so hopefully he's at least a little bit better. I will tell you one thing, though. Gameplay already feels way worse than the first game. I didn't look at the ping. I didn't look at the ping of the first game, so I'm not sure. I mean, of, of this game. Our goal is a rage quit, Pectic. Our goal is a rage quit, Pectic. Lock it in. That's the whole purpose of this game is a rage quit. Nice. The Yong plants a nice little Tiki Taka. He doesn't have Tiki Taka Plus, but he does have the, the base version. Boppy. Back to the Yong. Player locked to Sun. Sun from De Jong, Sun finesse, green time. That's cool. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. That's different. That's a different level of 11 win gamer right there. And I'm not lying. I really do get 11 wins. I choke 14 almost every weekend. I know sometimes it looks like, hey, maybe this guy's like a, a 16 win player. I haven't got 16 a single time this year yet. <laughs> the wind caught that pass right after I was talking to. That's called commentator curse. That does not count. That was a skill issue by me anyway. I won't lie. Holy cold, Virgil. Jude to Sun, Sun across net. Come on, man. That's easy money all day. Come on, man. Let's get that rage quit. Let's get that rage quit. Midfield's playing insane. I'll tell you right now, Jude and De Jong as box to boxes in a 4-3-2-1 on each side, like each center mid, left center mid, right center mid. Incredible. I'm playing Blanc at CDM for like a much more defensive player, you know? But those two running back and forth at the mids seems freaking nuts. Literally, I won't lie. Very impressive. And very easy to switch into a different formation, too. Like, if you want to play if you want to play two midfielders, like, let's say, a 4-4-2. And obviously, if you didn't have Blanc, you just want to play two midfielders in general. You could definitely play Jude and De Jong both as your midfielders and either run them both box-to-box. -box, or I'd probably have Jude as a box-to-box -box and De Jong as a holding mid, even with his work rates. Maybe the other way around. Probably Jude actually has a holding DM because that, that uh, play style is insane, the one he has. Relentless. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. If you're a very aggressive player like me, you much rather attack than defend. I think that would be a very fun midfield to run no matter what the formation. 4-2-3-1. But it works really well in this formation with two with three midfielders. Here we go. Travella, green time. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, Frankie, what we working with here, dog? I see you. Frankie De Jong, first half. Hey, check that out. One goal, one assist. And I'm not even trying to force it to him. Sure, I'm a little bit. Look at that heat map, though. He's really moving all over the pitch. Look at how much room he's covering compared to Jude. I mean, I guess actually, never mind. I was looking at Blancs. Very similar each side of the pitch, which is exactly what you want. Like, almost the exact same heat map, isn't it? It's what you want on both sides. East center mid covering their whole side. Looks beautiful. I won't lie. It's kind of it's kind of beautiful. It's like a work of art. Picasso. What a tackle. She is insane. I can't wait for her to get her upgrades for real. As I say that, I lose the ball. I got to stop talking because every time I try gassing someone up about what they're doing well, they end up doing the opposite. Except for Mbappe. Because, well, he's Mbappe, isn't he? Son loses the ball as soon as I start saying his name. Who would have thought? Here comes King. Huge. Huge. Look at Mbappe, man. He is just different but you thought i was gonna shoot with him no i'm gonna pass it and lose the ball because i'm an absolute skill issue merchant why don't i just shoot it's a wide open shot on goal instead i'm trying to pass it to sala oh sala's my favorite player of all time okay i gotta pass the ball to him bellingham the son mbappe jeez he's just too icy with him man looks like we're not gonna get the rage quit though i think this guy's committed for the game maybe score a few more goals i suppose and not concede any that's the main goal here Blanc anticipate plus in the midfield. I don't know if you guys have ever tried Blanc in the midfield, okay? But if you haven't, you should. Go do it right now if you have his SPC. Put an engine on him and get him in the midfield. 
He is crazy. Now, sure, his weak foot stuff isn't so good. This isn't a block review, but trust me on this, okay? Trust me on this. Mbappe to Salah. Salah across the net. He is never missing that. This guy's gone. Huge, huge performance from the boys right there. De Jong was incredible. GG's to this man, for real. He's a lot better than the first guy we played. Well, he do take a W. That is two games with Frankie De Jong done, though. He's like, what, a little over 300K? I'm going to say it right now. Absolutely a must-do SBC, especially with the potential two upgrades and two playstyles. Now, they're regular playstyles. Don't forget that. They're not like a playstyle plus. Obviously, you can only have one. I don't know which ones you'll get. Hopefully, some sick ones, whether that's uh, defending ones or whatever. I do think he's a must-do. He feels incredible. His dribbling is nuts, even with only 81 balance. I didn't even notice that right away when I looked at his card. His balance is kind of low, but in-game, he feels very nice. Obviously, I was telling you guys that throughout the gameplay. His defending feels a lot better than 80 rated. An anchor probably is the best option. You could put a shadow on him if you want to, but I think the little added strength is a very good benefit. Four-star, four-star. Like I said, I'm not going to see him repeat myself. Definitely, definitely a must-do. Whether you grind him over the weeks with upgrade packs or you do him right now for Weekend League. You do what you want. Drop a like. Fuck coin shop if you need coins to get him done. Link down below. Enjoy your days.